Okay, you can see me. Hi guys, I just got out of work and now like there's some odd traffic. Never mind, I won't show you what I'm looking at because I don't think it's very nice to show people's license plates. Um, what's up? What's going on? Uh, oh, let me tell you a little bit about my job since there's like crazy traffic. I think there's like a car accident. Like we're backed up to the next light. That's not a normal thing at all. Okay, so, so I work at this job, right? And it's related to the insurance industry, yeah? And so I'm like the marketing assistant there. And so, yeah, that's basically my job. I'm learning how to like, I guess, be independent at a job. Like, I wish I wasn't driving. I'd go more into detail, but like. Can't, I'm, I'm focusing. I'm fo multitasking, y'all. This is probably illegal. I wish cops could find me right now. Oh, anyway. um, Yeah, so I was just doing my thing inputting some information into the computer and it was okay there was an accident and people are changing lanes um anyway i was inputting information into the computer and i literally went brain dead why did it take me three hours to finish an excel sheet and i did like it looks like not a lot but i did so much to make things work because things were not trying to work yeah it's a pretty bad accident oh my gosh i love life um yeah but in the end i was basically brain like my brain was like numb so i was trying to like stay productive because i was at work because you know and like do stuff so like i got on adweek.com that was fun learned a little bit and i don't know just feeding the brain basically and then i was like okay Catherine, you have to go back to like work kind of stuff right and so i did i'm trying to write some blog posts for the company just in general for the insurance industry and whatnot and it was actually really fun because it was just like i only have literally i only have six days left which is kind of sad but like it's okay that's life right and police the police yeah can you see that can you see that can you see can you guys see that that's so scary hides camera oh my gosh okay i will not okay it's not that bad people we're alive her car is just in the middle of the room okay it's it's pretty bad it's pretty bad people are alive cars have been hit they're still able to drive maybe okay i'm driving now for real for real so i don't want to like be doing this so i was telling you about blog writing i'll get back to you on that later bye so i'm just having can i just be like yes i can okay so i'm just having a great day i went to stop by a friend's house just on the way home i have a flat tire what is wrong with the world what is wrong with the world? The person who fixed my tire, he forgot to put the caps on. I don't know how to read pump a tire. I don't know how to shift a car. <laughs> like, I refuse to call a tow truck because that's money. I think that's like unnecessary money because I know there's ways to fix this problem very easily. I just don't know. That sucks. So... Can I pretend that this is not happening and just finish my blog, whatever I was talking about? I already wrote one for my work and it went really well. Everyone loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I felt like they were lying, but they worked. Like, guys, it was so serious. I like, I copied each one of their compliments and I put them in a document so I could keep forever. It's a lot, I know, but I like, I don't want it to be like in the future, like I'm just boosting myself when it actually happened. So like, I wanted to like have proof, some receipts, Okay, and um, yeah, so I only have six more days left of work, and I wanted to write a lot more blog posts since then, but like I've been stuck just inputting information every day, and so today I was just like, I was just gonna like kind of like after my whole brain deadness and just trying to be productive, I um, I what's the word? I just started like writing, just started writing, like writing my like what's going on in my head, and then like just ideas and me brainstorming and whatnot is this really weird mm, yeah it is it's okay and so i was just brainstorming and then it started turning into a blog post so it's really cool it's really cool it's about what is it about 
it's about how people or college students should give the insurance industry a chance which is really legit because there's going to be so many job openings and it's not as boring as it seems because i thought it was boring in like geico and nationwide kind of stuff but like it's way bigger more complicated but like in a good way a lot more interesting it's just like i guess the industry has like a lot of old heads who aren't up with the times with like social media and just like not even it is social media but just like expressing themselves in the new way that a new generation will listen to and yeah and so they're bad at that so like that's why people of I guess my time and people above me aka just college aged people they don't know that this is a good opportunity for them so that's what I'm gonna write about next and I don't know I'm gonna crank out as many as I can like not bad ones I wouldn't ever put out bad work but like that's where I am today and I wrote at least a quarter of it maybe I'm gonna want to like stick in more ideas and whatnot but like it was really cool and then the girl who I'm the assistant for she was leaving for lunch and she's like hey how long are you gonna stay and I was like oh just 10 minutes bro like they stopped paying me after a certain time which life whatever but I like stayed 20 more minutes because I was just like my mind was just going and I didn't want to break that trance because like it's never good to break it it's just like let it fall out of your head because like once you walk away and come back you might not be able to catch that stream of thought again so yeah that's what I did today at work so that like that turned my like as being productive but like this was like the good quality production that I really really enjoy and that was super nice and so yeah now I'm gonna go say hi to my friend I think I'm gonna bring my camera not to really bother her but like I am. I'm gonna bring it. Right. See you there. See you later. See you. See you. <laughs> okay. Left my friend's house. Ah. Okay, so now that my tire is out of commission. Yay, do I have food in my mouth? Uh, I think so. Okay, now that my tire is out of commission, my siblings have come to pick me up. Woo! Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I think we're gonna go to the mall. I might show you some clips. So, see you then, see you then. Hey guys, I finally made it to the mall. It took us like a couple hours, no, a lot of many hours. But now we're here, I actually was walking past, um, I was walking past American Apparel and it is empty. I think they left restocking, but like if you're gonna restock, you never go this deep ever. And everything left is like 90% off, but like, it's all like really ugly clothes. But yeah, here I am at the mall. Oh gosh, I love these mirror shots. They look really cute. I wish you could see my full outfit. Yes, Captain, yes, look. Okay, so moving on. Okay, I'm leaving now because there's no, that's, that's it. That's literally it. But okay. I'm um, about to go to Neiman Marcus now. Trying not to run into people. Multitasking, guys. Okay. Ooh, uh, I'm really trying hard not to do like classic, stereotypical YouTuber like mannerisms. I'm trying so hard not to. So like, I'm trying to catch myself. That's why I keep pausing. Okay, cutting scene. Bye. I love you, shoes. Got a blast. Okay, so had to walk away from my sister. It's really awkward. I haven't really vlogged around my family yet, so. But okay, so I went to a couple stores. I even walked into Charlotte Roofs. I don't know what came over my soul, but I did. It wasn't, I didn't feel like crying or anything like that, but I moved out. Now I'm in Nordstrom, and I'm gonna find a Christmas present for not my little sister. Okay, one of my little sisters, but not the one who wants Uggs. No, 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 no. Okay, but I need to get a Christmas sister, not a Christmas sister, I need to get a Christmas sister. I need to get some Christmas stuffs for my sister. Okay, I'm done. Before I was in Neiman's, now I'm in Nordstrom, right? And so I was getting, oh yeah, I was downstairs. Okay, so I was getting those shoes for my sister, one of them, but they ran out. And they even ran out in the lookalike. So now I'm like on the backup gift right now. And so now I'm being really weird. And I realized that like vlogging, it takes a lot. Like, I don't know, because you know, YouTubers do it all the time, AKA Casey, but not anymore. But it takes kind of like a lot out of you, just like being in public with a camera out and you're talking to it. Like you're somebody, I am somebody. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, 
it's pushing me out of my comfort zone, but like in a great way, you know? Anyway, so I'm, I found what she wanted, what my sister wanted, but it's like not exactly what she wants. So I kind of don't want to get it, but like I'm not going to find it anywhere else because the internet is not working for me. I tried looking up an alternate earlier, but I couldn't find one. So I'm just going to buy the bag, and if she hates it, she can return it. Oh, I'm so zoomed into my face. It's okay. Hopefully no one's staring too hard in the back. I don't know. Anyway, I'm like whispering because I'm outside, but you know, it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and buy this bag. <gasps> I'm gonna go ahead and buy this gift. Oh my gosh, did I expose what I was buying? Okay, I feel hecka uncomfortable right now. It's so busy, all these last minute shoppers, AKA me. There's too many of us in one store. Anyway, I'm in the men's section hiding from everyone. But yeah, guys, I'm literally sweating because it took so much hard work and dedication to buy this. Literally, like, I don't know what's wrong, but my head wasn't thinking. It was like, so put in your card. I put in my card. And I just stared at it until it, like, canceled. And I was like, why is this canceling? They asked me so many questions, but I was not paying attention. I literally could not pay attention. My eyes were not, like, seeing any of these things going on. It was really funny. And the girl was just like... <laughs> She, she, she's like stop removing your card. I was like, but it said cancel and we would do it again And then I would just wait for it and then it would cancel again. And she's like, did you answer the question? I was like what question? Yeah, it it took like 10 15 minutes to buy this and I was the one there like it was me literally only me and Like after that like I broke into a sweat and I was like wow <laughs> My sister should be happy I made it this long, but okay, now I have to find the rest of my siblings, maybe eat something, hopefully eat something. People are like surrounding me and it's making me uncomfortable. But yeah, I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna go, but I need food. I need food. Okay, bye guys. Okay, so I literally sat down to tell you guys the story. So I I hope it translates well. Um, so basically, <laughs> I was walking. So yeah, I, I remember to get right? Yeah, I remember to get so I was walking there and I was like, I see this cute guy in the corner of my eye. Okay, but I was like, don't look. Like, don't, don't look. <laughs> Stay calm. <home. laughs> and so I'm like walking, you know, trying to like walk with the normal gait, do you know? That's what I gotta do. Walk, and then in my mind I was like, can you be my boyfriend? <laughs> I looked back again, it was like Catherine stop looking back. And then I was like, you have to shut up. And I couldn't stop laughing. And then I like, I do, you guys are gonna hear this, but like I do this like laughing cough. And I start like hacking, but then I go back into a laugh. And then I say to myself, I make myself sick. <sighs> Good jokes. Anyway, that was really funny. He ended up walking. He's like in the same store I'm about to be in. Like I'm in the doorway of. It doesn't matter, but he's downstairs, unfortunately. Loki looked like Tyler, the creator. I don't crush on him, but that guy was cute. Anyway, that was a funny story. Hope you guys can not quickly laugh with me. Anyway, gotta go find that last gift. Look who I found an American Eagle. <laughs> I wish I could zoom in more. Anyway. Okay, I just left another store and I promise you my cashier hated me. She was not amused. I didn't want to break a 10, so I was like, let me put $10 in cash and you know, the rest on card. And it was like change. It's okay. I still love myself, that's all that matters. Look at my family. Why isn't this focusing? I can't do many more. Look at that little rat. My sister, the one standing up, I have multiple. Look at this. They think they're so cunning, but they only get zero. Okay, so I'm getting a lot more footage than I thought I would get. Yay, me, I don't look boring. Okay, so we have crossed the street, and now I'm going to Forever 21. I'm not focused. Okay, it's probably because it's dark or something. I look so sketchy, I'm in a back alley and I'm probably scaring the person ahead of me. Run up the stairs, man, run up the stairs. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Forever 21 really quick and buy a gift for someone. I'm looking down because there's stairs and I don't wanna drop this. Okay, but yeah, 
Guys, I'm having a good time. I'm still hungry. That problem will be fixed eventually. <laughs> to be honest, guys, I actually hate this place. It does too much. It, it, it does too much. Before, I used to be like more okay with it. And then, you know, fast fashion is a thing. And I was like, let me be more conscious, you know. You guys can't hear me and I don't know where I'm going. So I'll, I'll cut to the next part. This is my favorite song. I love how she's not even speaking the real language. Some little girl just saw me. Anyway, peace.